Hi everybody and welcome to the last video about the controlled polymerization. Well, the last technique that we are going to cover is the ring opening polymerization, uh, ROP. Well, uh, by covering this section, we will cover about uh, almost you know 70% of the slides of this topic, and after that we will continue with the bioconjugation different methods that we can conjugate the drugs and the imaging modalities uh, to our nanoparticles and the backbones and etc. But anyway, in the previous videos we talked about the ATRP atom transfer radical polymerization all, and also the raft polymerization, you know, reversible addition fragmentation, chain transfer polymerization and uh, we told you that because the termination has the uh, rate reaction rate to the power of 2 we have to reduce the concentration of the radicals present in our system in order to reduce the rate of termination and uh, prevent the distribute uh, the broad distribution of the molecular weight of our polymer uh, of our polymeric chains and in order to do so we introduce the complexing uh, let me show you just here uh, for the ATRP we introduced the uh, complexing ligands with the uh, transition metal metal uh, inside which had the affinity towards the halogen and we mentioned that when the halogen is detached from here the radical will be formed and it will do the propagation and because this constant for the reverse of the reaction is higher we will get back again into this uh, normal situation that we had at the beginning and it's because we have an uh, equilibrium state. On the other hand, for the raft polymerization, we mentioned that we use the diphyester as the uh, chain transfer for controlling our polymerization. And I told you that the continuous reversible addition and fragmentation is going to happen when it's added here. It's going to be detached. So it again it's going to be added and this is going to be detached so the polymerization of our chains is going to happen at the same rate so that all of our chains are going to grow at the same rate and we will have a uniform distribution of our molecular weight well um, but in this technique there is no radical we we will not be dealing with the radicals what we are going to deal with are the monomers which are in their forms of the um, rings and the initiator which instead of having a radical having a radical it has the OH group an alcohol group but in order, in order to uh, explain the mechanism of the ROP better, I want to switch into the slides of the professor, uh, of the doctor uh, Umberto Capasso Palmieri. These are the slides uh, for the course of biomedical physical chemistry. And as you see here, we have the monomers which are in their uh, ring forms. and during the polymerization reaction they are going to be opened and they will uh, propagate and form our uh, polymers but how is it going to happen and what is the mechanism behind it it, it is going it is something that we are going to see soon well you see here that um, for example we have this lactide in its ring form here and in order to open this we will introduce our initiator which is an uh, which is an alcohol with the OH group at its end and this is the FDA approved catalyst that we introduce this together 
just to increase the rate of a chemical reaction and when we introduce uh, the catalyst and the initiator how is it going to open a ring well the process of opening the ring uh, let me just start with the initiator and the catalyst you see that when we mix them together we will reach into this alkoxide mm -hmm. and based on the nucleophilic attack we will have the opening of the ring well what is the nucleophilic attack well as I mentioned at the beginning uh, for the ATRP and for the raft we ha we were dealing with the radicals but in this uh, polymerization technique there are no radicals and we will have the rings opened by the nucleophilic attack of this alkoxide group well what is a nucleophile you know nucleo is uh, the positive charge you can just uh, treat it in this way nucleo the positive and electro the negative charge and file means in love with so a nucleophile is something that is in love with the positive charge so uh, I can say let me just use the more scientific words this group here is a nucleophile and it is looking for the uh, not electrons this is looking for the uh, let's say a region which does not have the electrons because it is electron rich and it is a nucleophile it is looking for somewhere which is electron poor so here this side is electron poor and you see here that it will have it will attack this part the electron uh, rich part here will attack the electron pore side here and the mechanism works like this that this double bond will be broken and it will form a bond here with the oxygen as you see here and this S and group will form, a will form another bond with the oxygen here and on the other hand what will happen in order to open the ring this bond should be broken so this bond is broken and uh, the oxygen forms another bond with this and uh, after that we will have the let's say our ring opened when when the electron here comes here and this bond is broken and ele another electron comes here and a double bond is formed for the oxygen so finally we will reach into this uh, opened ring of our uh, caprolactone that we had here the first monomer it was a uh, caprolactone I, I can show you here the caprolactone this monomer here when it was when it is opened it has the double bond oxygen and uh, the carbon length carbon chain so you can consider it as the initiator just like here plus one uh, monomer connected to this and again this side will go and attack for another mm, ring formed monomer and open it to uh, continue for the propagation steps well now let's just get back into the slides of the professor Chilesi to mention some advantages and disadvantages of this method well one of the advantages of the method is that uh, ring opening polymerization mostly deals with the polyesters and uh, Polyesters are the ones, are the type of polymers that are biodegradable within our body. Within our body. So, 
by introducing the ring opening polymerization, the ROP method, to polymerize the monomers which are biodegradable, we will tune the biodegrade biodegradability biodegradability of our polymeric chains. Well, I will show you uh, just in a few minutes how it's going to work. Just uh, remember that we have different types of monomers in the ring form and they can easily react with an alcohol layer and be opened and just propagate to uh, reach into the final polymer. And we have to mention that uh, if there are is any water present in our sample in, in our solution is going to affect the final uh, quality of our polymers and another thing just remember that uh, these rings uh, these monomers are going to be active only and only at the time that they are opened so th you can consider this method as a controlled polymerization because only when they are opened the you will have the active uh, monomer so another problems with determination and the chain transfer is not are not going to seriously occur with this technique well here are just what I told you about the catalyst and when it is uh, going to attack the monomer with the uh, alcohol group okay this is something that we just mentioned before and uh, what I want to say to you about this uh, slide is just remember that if we want to have the functional monomers for example with this azide group here this is a functional group which is useful for uh, conjugating another um, molecules here for example if we want to conjugate the drugs or the imaging modalities we can use this functional group and in order to make our monomers functional you see that it uh, not only it will get take a lot of time for example six days eight hours four hours 48 hours and also the efficiency you see here the conversion is not going to be 100% so we need a lot of purification steps on one hand and it's going to take a lot of time on the other hand so it's going to be so hard to have the mm, monomers of the ROP be functionalized and let's go to the next slide you in this slide again you see that by having this monomer uh, function w and the functional azide group we can just connect different types of let's say drugs and molecules with the click chemistry I will later explain the details about the click chemistry but just know that uh, this azide group is going to be useful for the conjugation of the other molecules into this monomer. Here you see the enamer that we mentioned, uh, I don't know, in three or four videos uh, ago about the time that our uh, molecule is going to behave not only as a monomer but also as an initiator so this OH group here is going to behave as an initiator to open the rings of the other monomers which are present in the sample and here this fo this uh, part is going to behave as a monomer so uh, if you remember I told you that we will lead into a hyper branched polyester in this case because the esters are used we will reach into the hyperbranch polyester and uh, let's have a look at this slide you see that another enamer is used by it, but uh, I'm sorry another monomer is used but uh, this monomer is somehow specific because 
it has the ring and, and the possibility to be polymerized within a ring opening polymerization so if we uh, open all the rings and connect them together so we will have this and in each unit this uh, section this uh, part of the molecule is out so what is this exactly you see here we have a boromine and this boromine uh, is the halogen and if you remember when we were talking about the atom transfer radical polymerization I told you that the boromine is the halogen connected uh, to the uh, monomer of the uh, ATRP method and it can be detached to for to proceed with the polymerization uh, process let me just show you the slide here that we had about the ATRP and I told you that we have this X uh, as the halogen that is going to be detached and when it's detached and comes here uh, forms a bond with the copper the transition metal so another let's say radical is going to be formed to do their uh, polymerization process and again what I want to tell you in this slide is that uh, this part is is uh, having the ability to go for the ROP reaction and this part that we have here can go for the ATRP uh, polymerization process so even by doing the ROP and ATRP or ATRP or ROP we will reach into these graft polymers and these are just the brush like polymers you know I told you about the backbone and the brushes like that in the graft polymers that are going to be used for forming the micelles, the amphiphilic polymers and the last uh, slide about the uh, let's say our repeal I'm gonna I'm going to talk about this one is how we can uh, produce the comb like uh, polymers by using the ROP and tuning the biodegradability of our molecules. Let's switch uh, for a moment to the slides of uh, Dr. Palmieri. Okay, and this is what uh, we're going to talk about. You see here that we have two different types of monomers. One of them is the let's say lactide uh, and another one is the biocompatible hema when we mix them together and we we go for the ROP uh, polymerization we will have this part to be polymerized okay so we have this part as a polymer and this part which has not been polymerized yet so you can imagine that, uh, let me show you in paint, okay, just have a look at this. This is the um, macromolecule that we have designed, we have synthesized. And this part is the one that we polymerize by the help of the ROP and now just imagine that we have a lot of these molecules and now we are going to connect them to connect the heads so if for example I have two of these molecules near each other okay and now I connect all of these together you see that I'm going to have something like a comb like a brush 
so because these parts are going to connect and these parts are the ones that we polymerized before as you see here okay this is the uh, bottom part is and this is the above part of what I showed you and now we're going to polymerize these double ones together so here we have a polymer and here we have a polymer so something like this and with the brushes that we are finally going to create and by doing different uh, ROP and with different molecules you see as I said the HEMA and the uh, biodegradable lactides we can tune the length of this part and this part and finally we will be able to tune the biodegradability of the polymers which are made by the ROP reaction so uh, these were all about the ROP method just remember that by doing the leading polymerization and the control polymerization we will finally lead to the uh, polymeric chains which have the identical length and they will all have the same uh, almost same molecular weight so the distribution of the molecular weight is not going to be that distrib that mm, polydispersed so they will behave identically okay uh, I see that I have talked about almost 22 minutes okay and see you for the next videos about the bioconjugation